The 2013 Constitution in Zimbabwe provides for freedom of expression. This affords the country's citizens the right to communicate their ideas in a manner they deem fit. But it seems the interpretation of the latitude one enjoys is not clear to many, as in some instances there are those who find themselves under scrutiny over word of mouth or written content. What is freedom of expression? And what does it entail in the practical sense? Legal experts have their say. Freedom of expression is actually a fundamental human right, which is uh, contained in the United Nations Charter on Human Rights and also the African Charter on Human and People's Rights, as well as um, the Zimbabwe Constitution. However, I must ask to say that there is no right which is absolute. Every right must be exercised in accordance or in, ob in observance of other people's rights. You have the right to freedom of expression, a freedom of association, a freedom of expression. In other words, you can say whatever you want to say, but like all freedoms, there are no freedoms that are what, you know, well, can I say it? You, can, you, you are not going to have freedoms that are absolute. There are always limitations. Like, for instance, when we say, I've got the right to freedom of expression, I have no right like, to go into the street and uh, to start uh, using vulgar or obscene language against whoever I don't like or uh, I'm saying I'm demonstrating against. Zimbabwe is undergoing reforms, which means there will be special attention to freedom of expression and other freedoms expected of a democratic society. Latest cases in courts have cast a spotlight on freedom of expression and the latitude they afford those who enjoy them.